Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Although at first glance, this tractor may look like an American-made McCormick, it actually was built in Germany. John Fredrickson is the owner, and with a great deal of affection, he has nicknamed it Herman the German. This is a McCormick D217. It was made in Germany. The D stands for diesel. The two is a two-cylinder, and it's 17 horsepower. This tractor was made in about 1957. The way I got it attached to this tractor was I went to Holland, Germany, Denmark, and Sweden with a small group of collectors in 1990. And at one of the farmsteads that we were visiting, well, they had two or three small tractors like this out in the barn lot that they let us drive up and down the road. And uh, my friend Mike Franzen from Monmouth, Iowa, was going to ship some tractors back to the United States. And so I told him to get me one. And that's how I wound up with the tractor. It looked a little rough, but it ran good. And a friend of mine took a lot of time and restored it and that's the way it looks today. One thing I really like about it, it always starts. And it's just a fun tractor to create good conversation and, and I've got a lot of fond memories of that trip that I was on over there and made some new friends. One difference between this and a traditional McCormick machine jumps out right away. This tractor has a seat on its left fender for a rider, common in Europe but seldom seen in the U.S. One conversation piece is the, the seat that uh, is on the fender. Over in Germany, a lot of the people live in town and go out to their acreage located a few miles from the city and they also use their tractor as their personal vehicle. So that was the seat that uh, a member of your family or your wife or girlfriend could ride with you. That's just one of a handful of subtle differences between this German McCormick and its American counterparts. Quite frankly, there's some features on this that were more advanced than some of our tractors made in America. This tractor has a horn. It has turn signals. Well, one of my favorite ones is the foot speed. On the right-hand side, there's a pedal for to accelerate the tractor, just like your personal car. Once it's started, you can use the, uh, the foot speed. You don't have to be using the throttle. The D217 isn't the only tractor in John's collection from overseas. This Porsche tractor was made in Germany as well. Another prized possession is this rare international 1456 Golden Demonstrator. They're just two of the many tractors in John's collection in northern Indiana. I like to collect a tractor that not everybody has. And several uh, I've got several tractors in my collection that are unique in that way. I've got a couple John Deere's, but the majority of my tractors are red, international. I grew up on international tractors. We had a very uh, successful dealer in our area. I assume that's one reason why my father bought international tractors. John is the president of the INI Antique Tractor Club, which hosts the historic Farm Days show in Penfield, Illinois, as well as the Half Century of Progress show in Rantoul. So John, is it safe to say you've got classic tractor fever? I wouldn't have this whole shed full of tractors if I didn't have. I just enjoy the fellowship and the friendship that, you know, I've made over the years and just a bunch of great people with the same background that I have. I just enjoy doing it. And as long as my health stays good, well, I plan to continue.